Welcome to SU News Channel. Letzel Tabogo delivers savage verdict on arrogant Noah Lyles after beating Team USA sprinter to win 200-meter gold at Olympics, moments before US star admitted to positive COVID test. Letzel Tabogo pulled off a shock 200-meter gold medal win on Thursday and delivered a savage verdict on Noah Lyles after defeating the American sprinter. Lyles had confidently told reporters beforehand that he would win the race, and made an extremely bombastic entrance into the Stade de France as he jumped around and waved his arms towards the crowd. But the American, who later revealed that he had COVID, finished third in the race as Tabogo led the pack and the sprinter from Botswana went on to call Lyles arrogant and loud. The newly crowned 200M champion was asked whether he aspired to be the face of track and field, and claimed his more laid-back approach wouldn't allow him to get to Lyles' level of fame. For me, I can't be the face of athletics because I'm not an arrogant or loud person like Noah, he said. So I believe Noah's the face of athletics. The remark caused Lyle's USA teammate, Kenny Bednarik, who claimed silver in the race, to briefly crack a wry smile. Lyle's brashly predicted before the 200M that he would complete the double after winning gold in the 100 meter in a nail-biting finish. None of them is winning. When I come off the turn, they will be depressed, he said. However, that prediction aged poorly as Lyles labored to a third-place finish and was placed in a wheelchair moments after the race, clearly out of breath from his COVID diagnosis. He later revealed that his Olympics were likely over as he took to Instagram to thank fans for their support. Lyles had been set to compete in the 4x100 relay but said he hoped d everyone enjoyed the show. Lyles told NBC, while masked up, I woke up early about 5 a.m. Tuesday morning, feeling really horrible. I knew it was more than being sore from the 100. My first thought was not to panic, I'd been in worse situations, I'd been in worse conditions. I took it day by day, tried to hydrate as much. It would say it has taken its toll, for sure, but I have never been more proud of myself coming out here and getting a bronze. Lyles later said that the other competitors were unaware of his diagnosis, we tried to keep it close to our chest. The medical staff, my coach and my mom knew. We didn't want everybody to go into a panic. We wanted to be able to compete. We wanted to be able to make it discreet as possible and you don't want to tell your competitors you are sick. Why would you give them an edge? For Tabogo, this was a particularly emotional night because it is only two months since he lost his mother, Saratawa. The 21-year-old did not train for a month, being struck with grief as he mourned the loss of his biggest cheerleader. At the 2023 World Championships, Saratawa had snuck into the stands to watch Tabogo without him knowing. In tribute to his mom, Tabogo wore shoes bearing his mother's date of birth. It's basically me carrying her through every stride that I take, he said. Me, to take her, it gives me a lot of motivation. I didn't want to put the date of her death, because I'll get emotional. I took about a month without doing anything. It wasn't really clicking for me that she's really gone. For me, I have to find the reason why I started my athletics journey and why I should continue going on. If she were here, I believe she could be one of the happiest people on the planet because she believed in me when I doubted myself. Indeed, one of his motivations for becoming an athlete in the first place was to help provide better for his family after all his mother's sacrifices. She once said, putting my interests on hold and emptying my savings just to be with him is what I do. Note that our relationship is more than that of mother and son, we are more brother and sister now more so that, for the longest time, it was just me and him. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.